open up your settings and you go down to your output canvases and you pick floppy right you know we're not going to use the printer so we're going to turn that off and then we're going to say flash star i5 by 7 options that you need to change. And then down here you're going to say <clears throat> if you're going to do multiple images you're going to print all pages. And then the images that you have marked are the ones that it will print to the USB flash drive. Hit OK. I just want to make sure I've got a template package already selected there, which I do. I've got a flash drive, 5x7, 300 dots per inch. So Return to my main menu. If I go to my preview images, I'm just gonna pick this one. It has quite a few images in there. You should be seeing my my two borders that I built. I have a landscape one and a portrait. I'm gonna go in here and we'll pick this image by clicking on it. Then I'm gonna jump over and let's go back let's find a, a horizontal one I don't want to use that one I know that one has some shadow problems that might be the only one I have on here though let me look and see yeah, it's the only one I have let's pick that one let's just kind of see what it does I'll show you that it automatically We'll put a landscape portrait in a landscape template. You want to change that, all you got to do is double click on the template that you want to use. But we don't want to do that. We want to use the landscape template because it's landscape. Let's go over here and you can resize it some. Bring it down here where it makes them look more realistic. And then all we should have to do is click this flash drive 5x7, 300 dot per inch. Ask you how many you want. You just want one of each. And it'll start building them. You'll notice it built the horizontal one. I don't know, it, it messed up. It only built one that time. So I may have a setting I need to change. Say use 